This is Jonathan Knott to kick off. The return men again are going to be Thomas and Johnson. It's going to be a short kick taken by an up man at about the 25. That's Joel Weber. He's across the 30, across the 35, out to the 39. Short, high kick that Weber could have had a fair catch there, and he got it out to, let's see, the official spot, the 39-yard line. So Joel, one of the up backs in that kickoff return unit for Texas A&M, will end up getting it out to the uh, 39 from about the 25 or so. So it's first down and 10 for Texas A&M. Last time we played him, we won it by a score of six, six, uh, 66 to nothing. Here's the first play. Flags will stop it. Apparently something happened down on the field. Allen Rober expected to start at a right tackle. Taylor Whitley at the right guard. Jeff Handgartner at the center. Andre Brooks moved to left guard when Billy Yates went out. And then Janie Hightower expected to be the left tackle. And, of course, Mark Ferris, 6'2", 212, a senior, three letters out of Angleton. They're out of 111. Efficiency rating last year will be the starting quarterback. I formation, first and 15 now after a five-yard markoff. And Farmer gets the handoff. Another flag goes down as he got back to the 39-yard line. He tried the left side and breaks it out for five yards. Got to bring up second down and 10. Let's see what the meaning of the flag is. Illegal crackback block on Texas A&M. 15 yards from the spot of the foul. Replay first down. It is going to be first down and 25. We're going the wrong way, so a couple of penalties will start it. Greg Porter's checked into the lineup. The Aggies are going to show a shotgun. Porter's in a slot to the left side. Flanked out way here on the right side will be Bethel Johnson. Running backs on both sides of Ferris. Hand Gardner's the center, snaps it. Looking back in this direction, throws. He's isolated. It's Johnson trying to break away from a man. Gets it across the 35 to the 37-yard line. Chris Peanut Tillman out of Copper's Cove, Texas, who had 38 eight tackles last year. Caught him from the backside at the 37. It's going to bring up second down and about 12 for the Aggies. Shotgun again on second down and 12. Tim Van Zant's in the lineup now for A&M. Slot left and a split in here on the right side. Throwing the ball. Caught by Porter across the 40 to about the 43-yard line. Not enough for a first down. It'll be third down. The Aggies will need about six. Porter, 6'5", 230, a senior three letters out of Keller. Again, a shotgun on third down and about six from the Aggie, 43. Leading their 49 near midfield. Has the snap, drops back to the 35. Time, now he's under some pressure, running back to this side of the field. Going to loft one down to Joe Weber, and he throws it into the sideline down around the 40-yard line. At the 40 of ULL, it goes incomplete, and that will bring up fourth down and apparently a punt for the Eggs. And all right, Cody Skates now will check in to punt it away, 70 one kicks last year and a 40.7 average. Turn man standing down around the 15. Low kick. They'll come up and they'll take it on the run at the 20-yard line and he's going to be smothered across the 30 to about the 33-yard line. And that return will be good for that punt rather for 36 yards. 36 on the uh, on the kick. First down and 10 at their own 33, the Ragin' Cajuns. John Van Cleve is their quarterback. Big guy, 6'5", 246. They have motion from Andre George, and they'll hand off to the tailback, and that'll be Coleman. Coleman fighting for yards. He gets it across the 35, about the 37-yard line, a pickup of four. It'll be second down coming up. They'll need six. We have 12.35 to go in the first, and there is no score in this game between Texas A&M and the University of Louisiana Lafayette. Stein checks in, 5'10", 214, out of Garville, Louisiana. Out of a shotgun, dropping back. There's pressure. They'll throw. Sideline pass, and it goes incomplete. High off the fingertips of Andre George. A shotgun running back either side of the big guy, Van Cleve. We're coming up the middle. They pick it up. They're going to throw. Loft one sideline, and it will be high over the head of the intended receiver, Fred Stamps. All right, their punter is Grant Autry. The return man for the Aggies will be Terrence Thomas. He's standing at the 20. The kick is away. He's coming up. Fair catch is called for him. It's able to hang on, however, at the 25-yard line. So he came up and took it at the 25, and that punt will be good for 37 yards by Autry. So first down and 10 in our own 25, and I formation lines up behind Mark Ferris. He may be changing the play. we got two wides on the left, got to tie it in. Carragher on the right, and the handoff goes to Farmer. Farmer trying the right side. He's bottled up after a minimal gain there of about 20, about three yards out to about the 29-yard line, about 28. So again, an eye formation, slot to the left, tied in on the right side. 
And they're going to uh, put a man in motion. Ferris motioned at the fullback Weber go in motion. Now he's got the snap. He throws the ball. That is over. Well, there's a little collision there between Porter and the defensive back Tillman. But no flag, and it'll go incomplete on second down. Third down and six coming up. Two in a slot on the left, split in on the right side. Single set back out of a shotgun. Ferris running back to his left. That's Farmer. Has the snap. He drops back, sets up at the 20, throws over the middle. And he threw it right through the hands of the intended receiver. And on that play, Bethel Johnson would have been enough for a first down. It went incomplete at the 38-yard line. The return man once more. They've actually changed this position with Nick Duga not making the trip. Andre George will do it. Duga drifting over to the right side, takes the putt at the 26-yard line. His return gets it back across the 30, and Jesse Honeycutt wraps him up around the 34-yard line. Ball spotted at the 34-yard line on first down and 10 for the Cajuns, their end of the field. Eye formation behind Van Cleve. He has the snap. He hands off to the tailback. That's Coleman. Coleman hits the middle. Gets about three as he goes from the 34 across the 35 to the 37. Where he had a pretty good high school career playing uh, for Pantago Christian. Here's second down and six. Going to throw it out in the flats. The fullback Stein got it. Stein caught at the line of scrimmage and Brian Gamble right on top of him. Out in the flats on the right side. Good coverage there by Brian Gamble. Shotgun running backs both sides of Van Cleve. Again, 6'5", 246. Has the snap. Rolling to this side of the field. Will throw the ball. It's going to be caught. That will be enough for a first down. Good coverage, but wrapping the ball up, bringing it in, Andre George. First down and 10. They have the ball at their own 46. Hash left, 9-16 to go in the first. No score. Eye formation behind Van Cleve. Play action. Drops back to his 35. He's going deep to the far sideline. They got a couple of men down there. And he goes in complete at the five. Here's second down and 10 with 9.06 to go. Ball at their 46. It's playing up. It'll be a delay out of the backfield. The draw goes to Coleman. Coleman will lose a yard. He hits the 45, and that's it. Third down and 11. Shotgun. Two wides on the right, one on the left. Favors hash mark left side, running back to his right, drops back, steps up, ran into one of his own men. Now he throws, has a man wide open across the 40, and now at the 35, at the 30, at the 25, cuts it back, and he's in a the arms of one of the Aggies now at the 13, and he goes down. That was Terrence Keel, and that just went 41 yards, and it was caught by Fred Stamps. Cajun show an eye formation. Flager right, two tight ends. Hash mark left side. The Aggies have, yeah, we made contact. We jumped across the line, and we made contact in the middle. 7.50 on the clock. We're playing in the first quarter. And they show an eye. They also have a tight end on the right. That's Josh Jorg. He's out of Ruston, Louisiana. Out of the eye on first down and five after the penalty. They give it to Stein. Stein fumble, fumble the ball, and Gamble got the fumble recovery at the 10. Fullback. Stein fumbled the football. First turnover of the season. Fumble recovery. Brian Gamble right on top of it at the 10. The Aggies get it back 90 yards away. And here we go back on offense with an eye formation. Tight end on the right side is Carriger. We've got two wides over on the left, one in a slut. Start the play, and we drift it to this side of the field. Farmer caught for a moment. Now he's going to be smothered inside the five. Somebody had a hand on him at the five-yard line. They pushed him back to the four, and they're going to give him the five. We're going to lose five on that play. Going to show a tie to get on the right side. And a tight on the left, and two flankers on the left side. Single setback Farmer is in the end zone. Under center will be Ferris, and he will give it to Farmer. Dancing around, hit at the five, and that'll be it. Got back to the line of scrimmage, and that will be all. It'll be third down and 15 coming up for Texas A&M. This is a defense last year that uh, allowed 183 yards on the ground. Here's third down and 15 shotgun. And it's the shovel pass. It goes forward to Farmer. Farmer trying to get away, and he can't do it. He goes from the five where he caught the ball out to the nine-yard line on the shovel pass. And now it's going to be fourth down and 11 for Texas A&M. And it looks like the University of Louisiana Lafayette will get pretty good field position. Their return man, that's Andre George, about midfield. Here's Skate's kick. A little wobbly. Looks like a... Cyclone as they make it at about the uh, 45 on the catch. And then George return will take it across the 40 and get back down to the 35. So they're going to get great field position here. Have a tight end on the right. they got two wides way out here on the left. George goes in motion back toward the middle of the field. Play action. Here is Van Cleve, and he is hit. 
And he goes down back across the 40 at the 43-yard line. First man to get a hand on him that time would be Gerard Penlight. Penlight coming in from that outside linebacking position on the right. Says something to his running back. Moves him off to the right side. They'll throw this, uh, come out of this play in a shotgun. They are facing second down and 17 from his own 48 pumps throws. And he's off the fingertips of the intended receiver on that play, Eric Bartell. Van Cleve again will... Come back in a shotgun, and he has his uh, tail back. Coleman, now suddenly he will call a timeout. So a timeout on the field. Shotgun for Van Cleve, running back to his left. Two wides on the left, one on the right. Has the snap, drops back to midfield, steps up. He can run if he wants to. He's not going to do it. He throws it over the middle. It's going to be caught by the tight end, Josh Jorg, and that will be good for a first down. They'll spot him inside the 10, shy of the 9. Ball's in the middle of the field. Two wides right, tight end left. That'll be Jorg under center as Van Cleave out of an eye. Gave it to the tailback. It goes to Coleman. They stand him up at about the seven. It's going to be second and goal at the seven-yard line. Randall Webb, the sophomore out of Mesquite North, just made the stop. Their center is Tony Hull. Waiting on the snap, they've got it, they hand off, it goes to Coleman. Coleman again tries the middle, got a yard to the six. It's going to be third and goal at the Aggie six for the Cajuns. High formation, tailback Coleman. They got two tight ends. They got George as a flanker way left. Play action, looking for the end zone. Van Cleve still looking. Now he's going to throw, and it's going to be incomplete. There's going to be a flag at the goal line. It's going to be defensive pass interference against Texas A&M. Defensive pass interference on Texas A&M. By rule, the ball is put at the two-yard line. Automatic first down. And that fullback will go in motion. And the handoff to Coleman. He dives for it. He did not get there. He's inside the one. He's shy of the goal line. Clock shows two and a half to go in the first. 12th man making some noise. Again, a full house backfield. No motion that time. They will give it to Coleman. He Was there a fumble? Apparently there has been. The Aggies are trying to pick it up. We do. We're going to get a return on this by Jackson Appel. Apparently everything's in order. He's at the 20. He's at the 15, the 10, the 5. And we got an official back here at the 7 saying the ball was down apparently at the 7. Let's see. Let's wait. Let's wait. I think they're, they're going to they're bring this one back. After the fumble recovery, the runner threw the ball forward. Okay. An illegal forward pass. Half the distance to the goal. First down. First down and 10. They've gone half the distance. The Aggies get to keep the ball, but they have it at their own four. 2.09 to go on the first. No score. And we put Taylor in motion going back to the uh, right side. A handoff, and it goes to Joseph, who's checked in along with Oshler Fleming, and they knocked him down at the one-yard line. It looks like that we there's the snap from the one. They're going to throw it out in the flats. Goes to Joseph. Joseph has a man around his waist as they fall forward close to the 13 and go out of bounds. And this defense for the uh, Cajuns last year again averaged uh, against them 183 yards on the ground. They gave up 190 passing. Out of an eye, they hand it off to Farmer. Broke a tackle. He's going to get by another man, but not the third as he gets it across the 15 on first and 10 to about the 16-yard line. There's a second down play. Out of an eye, break the eye by putting... And that was Joseph in motion. Drops back. Ferris wants to throw. He goes high in the air and just out of the reach and off the fingertips of Porter at the 25-yard line. There's third down and seven, a shotgun. Three wides on the right, one on the left, single setback. Here's Ferris with the ball under some pressure. Caught around the ankles, throws the ball. Sideline, caught by Taylor at the 25. Got a first down. Flags down as he goes to the 29. One, two, three, yellow markers down. And I think somebody probably got him by the face mask. Gets a first down for Texas A&M much forward, but credit Lennon Smith for picking up the fumble and an almost would have been play. Yeah, and then they brought it back on an illegal forward pass. High formation on first and 10 for the Aggies at their own 45 near midfield. Motion from Taylor. They, they caught Taylor moving in the wrong direction as we snap the ball. Part of the snap. Full start. Texas A&M. Five yards. Still first down. Hand Gardner waiting on the right count from Ferris to snap the ball. There it is. Drops back to the 32. Starts to move in this direction. Throws. Bethel Johnson across the 45. They're going to wrestle him down and throw him into the Aggie sideline. 
inside the 45, and time has run out, and that will bring the first period to an end. And we are scoreless after the first 15, and they go out of a shotgun, running backs on both sides of Ferris. They have a slot on the left. They have a split in on the right, short side to the right. That's the top. Ferris drops back, throws the ball off the fingertips of Taylor. It goes incomplete, trying to set up a little screen on the hash mark here on the left side. It went off his fingertips. It'll bring up third down and 10 now for A&M. Third down and 10, shotgun running back to his left. They jumped across the line of scrimmage before the ball was snapped. Movement that time by Walter Sampson, a senior out of Crowley, Louisiana. Who... There's the offsides by Cooper Castleberry. Shotgun again for Ferris. Three wides, two in a slot left. Split in right, running back to his left is Fleming. Stand at the 45 to take the snap. There was movement by a and Apparently it came on the left side this time. The left guard, Andre Brooks, may have moved. So we're going to give that five right back. The Aggies are really killing themselves today, Dave. When we get on penalties now, the Aggies six. Six, six penalties for 39 yards against the Aggies. ULL, shotgun again, two in a slot to the left. There's the snap on third down and 10. Ferris dancing around, throwing the ball. Taylor caught it at the 40, at the 35, going to the far side of the field at the 30. They're closing on him. He hits a man as he crosses the 25 and goes to the 23. And they will knock him out of the 22. Charles Peanut Tillman made the stop. Taylor caught it on this side of the field and went to the far side. At the Cajun 22 and a half. Hash right. Stop the, the clock rolls now. At 14.30 in the second. No score. Ferris drops back after having gone under center. Lofting it. Going end zone. Leaping up. Trying to bring it down. Incomplete in the end zone. Off the fingertips of Greg Porter. Again, they have the ball at the Cajun 22 and a half. Hash right. Single set back. Ferris under center. Waiting on the snap as they put Van Zandt in motion going left to right. They'll keep it on the ground as it goes to Farmer. And Farmer hits the middle. And he got maybe an up. I don't think he got anything. It's going to be a third down and 10 as we try the middle. And that didn't work. Oshler Fleming is lined up to the left of Mark Ferris. Slot on the left. Got a split in on the right side. Looks like it's Van Zandt. Waiting on the snap. There it is. Drops back to his 30. Dancing around. Throws the ball. It was tapped at the line of scrimmage. He tried to get it out down around the 10 to Taylor. Somebody got a hand on it knocked it down so they'll spot the ball at the 29 it is a 39 yard effort it's almost in the middle of the field Cody Skates will hold Chance Pierce will be the snapper Snap, spotted down kicks on the way and let's see if it has the distance it's off to the right it is no good John Van Cleve is their big quarterback an eye formation behind him he just fumbled a snap from center it's on the ground the wrecking crew chasing it they're still trying to get it and they have just recovered at the five yard line first and goal favors hash left side taylor goes wide to the right he's a flanker ags have two tights and an eye formation handoff goes to farmer wrapped up behind the line broke a tackle maybe back to the four yard line it'll be second and goal coming up slot to the right break the eye by putting weber in motion have the snap, rolling now, being chased. Ferris all the way back to the 20, looking to the end zone, going to throw it away. His third down and goal at the four. Motion from Taylor, spinning back, going back to the right. And play action. Ferris rolling under some pressure. Again, he's going to throw it uh, through the end zone. It's going to be a 21-yard effort from the 11. The angle to the right, Chance Pierce is your deep snapper. Cody Skates will have the hold. And an angle to the right well, for flags. Pegram, and we're going to have flags before the kick. Yeah, here Disconcerting it is. signals oh, okay. against ULL. <laughs> Half the distance to the goal, still fourth down. Uh, here comes Todd Pegram, hopefully with his first career college uh, field goal, and it should be a short one. Here comes the snap. Here comes the kick. The kick is going to be just inside the left upright, and it's good. Three to nothing. Aggies lead the football game. Ivan Taylor's a return man, and also a return man back there, Bill Sampy. It's going to go into the end zone where Taylor will down it on top of the A. 12 and a half remaining in the first half. They show motion. That'll be George, and they will keep it on the ground. Coleman spins as he hits the line and goes across the 20 to the 21. Not a whole lot there. Somebody had him around the ankles on that play. Sammy's over on the far side as a corner. Here's second down and about nine. Ags are coming. Here is a screen set up, and the Aggies read it, and the ball is on the ground. Are they going to call that a completed pass? He caught it at the 15. That was the fullback, Stein. They say that he was down. Third down and nine, shotgun. 
Two running backs, either side of Van Cleve. Drops back. He's going to throw left side, and it is incomplete across the 30 and about the 33. That was Fred Stamps, the intended receiver. That'll bring up a fourth down. All right, punt teams out there. This is Grant Autry, a 37-yarder earlier for the Ags. Or against the Ags, and here is the punt wobbly. And it'll be taken about the uh, 33, 43 yard line, spinning away, and he gets back to the 43. Dwayne Goins has checked in now for the Aggies at a running back position, tied into the right two wides, and they give it to Goins, who tries the right side. He's maybe the 45 if they grant him that on first down and 10 at the 43. Goins to the 45. And it favors Hashmark to the right. Bethel Johnson had come over here to the left side. Now they move him back to the right. Single setback again will be Goins. 5'10", a senior out of Lamarck. Ferris is under center. Has the snap. Once more, it goes to Goins. Spreading out here. May have a little running room. He's across the 45. He's bottled up as he hits the 50. Send uh, in this situation, Thomas going wide to the right side along with Taylor. And we have a split in here on the left side. Single running back to the right of Ferris, who's in a shotgun. Drops back to the 42. Throws, and it's off the hands of Porter and incomplete. At the 50, now here is Skate standing back at his 35-yard line. Punts away. High sailor, and it looks like it's going to make the end zone. And it does. And they'll bring that one out to the 20. He and our offensive line coach, J.D. Grimes, have coached together over in Virginia. They were also, I think, at one time at Northeast Louisiana where they coached on the same staff. So a little bit of a relationship there. And then Bustle played for Clemson when Clemson played here at Kyle Field back in the 70s. Play action. Van Cleve throws the ball. Caught in the backfield and dropped for a loss back at the 16. Johnny Jolly's in the lineup now for Texas A&M's defensive front. And at the nose tackle, 6'3", 287, freshman out of Houston, Forrest Brook. Came in in uh, January. Here's a throw out on the flats, and it's a diving catch. No, they say he trapped it. It was out of bounds. It was caught out of bounds by George. Shotgun formation. Third down, 13. 9-0-2 to go until halftime. Ags lead 3-0. Snapped it, dropped back across the 10 under some pressure. Looted one man, goes to, uh, back out to this sideline, throwing the ball high and in and out of the hands. It was intercepted by AM and on a deflection. It was! Ball went off the hands of one of the Cajuns at about the 33. It bounded back up the field and was intercepted by AM at about the 28-yard line on the deflection. Here's first down and 10 for the Aggie offense at the 27-yard line. Time to throw. Ferris does. High, and it was almost intercepted. Trying to get it into the hands of Thomas. It went in and out of the hands of Charles Tillman, who was behind the play and up the field. Ash Mark to the left side, single setback, two wides on the right, tied in right, split in left is Bethel Johnson. They're going to lob one to Johnson on the sideline, trying to run under it. He can't do it at the goal line. Defended on that play by Ivan Taylor. Derek Farmer's the running back. He is to Ferris's right. Ag show a shotgun. Two flankers to the right, tied in right, split in left, short side to the left. Has the snap, throws it over the middle, off the hands of Porter again at about the 23. Here's a field goal effort now from the 35, a 45-yard effort. Tom Turbyville's behind the uprights. Yeah, slight angle to the right again. Chance Pierce, deep snapper. Sco Cody Skates is your holder. Here's Pegram. Here's the kick. It's a wobbly one, and it'll be short and left. Did not make it to the goal post, eh? John Van Cleve is their quarterback. Cajuns are at the line of scrimmage on a first down. Has the snap, drops back, he throws, he has a man, it's a first down, that goes to Stamps, he's across the 40 for the 42-yard line. Nice gain there of about 15 yards or so. Shotgun for Van Cleve, running back to his right. It's the tailback, two wides on the right, he is moving to his right, looking to throw. Now he's going to throw it back toward the middle, and it's caught, maybe enough for a first down, it's at midfield. I think they're going to spot him at the 49. Second down, and a yard, snap it. They landed off to the tailback. They ran that play out of a shotgun. Coleman will get the first down carry to the Aggie 47-yard line. Again, they're going to run from a shotgun. Then Cleve waits on the snap. At his 45, throws sideline, and it's intercepted. Texas A&M, and that's Sean Weston. Weston, fingertip roll, and then waited for it to come down. And he got in front, I think, of Stamps that time and intercepted the ball at the 40. The Aggies are 60 yards away. Clock at 6.51 to go in the second. Ags ahead by a score of 3-0. 
Mark Ferris has been replaced now by Dustin Long, 6'2". But 197-pound sophomore squadsman, Port Natchez Grove, saw action in the bowl game, his only action of last season, first regular season game. He hands off on his first play, and he gives the ball to Farmer, and Farmer fights with a couple of the Cajuns to get it to the 42-yard line. And he'll run it from a shotgun. Weber's to his left, and there was movement. Dead ball foul, illegal snap on Texas A&M. Five yards, still first down. That's where he's got a Weber. And Farmer in the backfield with him. Out of the shotgun. Throw it out here. That was batted up in the air as he throws the ball. And it goes to the ground inside the 30. Trying to capitalize again on one more. Rage and Cajun turnover. Shotgun once more for Long. As the snap drops back to the 29. Sets up. He is throwing deep to sideline. He's got Taylor off his fingertips. He was wide open at the 37-yard line. And all he had to do was catch the ball. That goes incomplete. All right, here's Skate standing back at his 23. Return man's at the 25. Good high boomer. This is George. Fair catch at the 19-yard line. There at the line of scrimmage, first down and 10 at the 19. Hand off backfield and slung to the ground like a rag doll by the Aggies. And that stop made by Johnny Jolly. Second down play from their 20. They put a man in motion, George. Van Cleve drops back under pressure, throws, caught out in the flats, and out of bounds they go as they roll out at about the 26-yard line. We go to the hash mark on the right side, left side right there. Here's a flag. Before the snap of the ball, the ball was snapped, but the flag had already gone down. So a third down play will not be run until we figure out what the officials are talking about here. Ball start. ULL. Five yards. Still third down. They have set him up at the 39-yard line. And here's Autry's punt. Go to high spiral. Singleton dropping back and takes it at the 30, fumbles the ball, falls on it inside the 30 at the 28-yard line. May have had a little return if he could have handled the ball, but he could not. First down and 10 at the Aggie 28. Hash right, single setback for Texas A&M. Long will hand off, and that goes to Oshler Fleming, and Fleming across the 30 to the 31-yard line. High formation, slot to the right, tight end left. Ball almost in the middle of the field. Long under center. Calling signals, has the snap, goes to the tailback, coming back to this side, Fleming turning the corner, and he got about a yard across the 32 to near the 33 as they ran it to the near sideline. 326, shotgun for the Ags, third down and six at the 32 and a half yard line. A hash to the left, out of the shotgun, long throws, intercepted, and returned to the 35 yard line. Interception by Charles Tillman. He had four picks last season. He Hash mark to the left side. Looks like Stein has returned here as the uh, fullback Coleman play action. Van Cleve throwing deep over the middle. Intercepted at the six. Sammy Davis trying to get it to Stamps. Davis goes up, brings it down. His last interception last year, Iowa State. Lead back here is Weber. You got Farmer as the tailback. Weber just said something to Farmer. Long pulls out. Now they're turning around. Weber again saying something to Farmer. Slot to the right. Long throws. Going to be caught by Bethel Johnson. Johnson wrestled to the sideline. Got a first down across the 15. Up to the 18-yard line. Thomas is coming off to the uh, left side. He got Taylor to uh, his right to tie it in. Uh, that's, uh, that's Porter as a tie it in lining up in this formation. Under center long. Single setback. Drops back to the 10. Waits. Throws. Taylor in and out of his hands again. At the 32-yard line, nobody close, and it went right into his hands, hit him in the stomach, and it bounced away. Incomplete second down and 10 to 54 on the clock. Three nothing, the Aggies over the Cajuns. Two in a slot on the left, split in right, shotgun. Running back will be Farmer to the right of Long. Waiting on the snap. He has it. Going to loft one sideline. And he'll overthrow everybody. Tended receiver was Van Zandt. Van Zandt had slowed up. And that ball was incomplete way up around the 40. Slot to the left side. There's no tight end. you got to split in on the right. you got two uh, running backs out of a shotgun. Here is Long to throw. Long has... Uh, that Taylor, Taylor on the sideline, and he runs it out to the 44-yard line. 
Taylor caught the ball that time after a couple of drops and out to the 44. They mark him out of bounds. He went out and kept running to near the 50 where he was tackled. But a first down for Texas A&M. That's got to make uh, Taylor feel real well. At 27 yards on that reception. That's 240 it. remaining until halftime. The Aggies lead 3-0. Shotgun. First down and 10. The Aggies at their own 44-yard line. 240 remaining until halftime. Play action. Throw it. And it is. Is that intercepted or is it dropped? Intercepted. And there's a flag down now at the 42-yard line. 42-yard line. Texas A&M. Penalties refused. First down. Ash mark to the left side. I formation behind Van Cleave. As the snap play action throws out in the flats to George, caught it behind the line, tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, and he's going to lose a yard. He caught it back around the 45. Byron Jones read that one. Ball at the Aggie, 42. Shotgun for the Cajuns. Running backs both sides of Van Cleve. Drops back, hit as he throws, and as he is hit, he is knocked down, and the ball went into the turf. Big play here as we wind it down toward the half. Van Cleve to snap, drops back, standing at midfield, lofting one, going deep. Got a couple of Aggies down around the goal line with the intended receiver snaps. Stamps will see that one go incomplete into the end zone and bring up a fourth down. Line of scrimmage now is the Aggie 42. He'd probably try to get this into the sideline inside the 20, and he'd like to get it inside the 10. Kicks away. This looks like this is gonna, it's gonna hit at about the three and it goes into the end zone. And Texas A&M leads the Cajuns by a score of three to nothing. Dustin Long has replaced Mark Ferris as the quarterback. Comes in with a shotgun formation and two running backs. Drops back, steps up, now he's gonna run to the 25, to the 30. Chased and brought down, somebody head butted him there as he went into the turf at the 38 yard line. And he shows shotgun. Fleming and Joseph are the running backs. Drop back to the 30. He's going to loft one, going sideline. He's got Van Zandt, and he overthrew both Van Zandt. It's going to be a penalty against the Cajuns down around the 23-yard line. It went incomplete into this sideline. First down and 10. The ball after the 15-yard mark off on pass interference at the Cajun 47. Hash left, shotgun. Here's Long, steps up, he throws, and it is in and out of the hands and almost intercepted. Porter was there, and defensive uh, pressure applied that time by Jamal Smith, who almost got the pick. Whoever's on the right, Goins on the left, shotgun, there's the snap, throw the ball, Taylor on a screen, right, hits the 40, spilled and pushed back to the 42-yard line, but they're going to give him the 40. Not enough for a first down. It's going to be third down and three. The Aggies need the 37. Without the huddle, they come right back to the line of scrimmage. Drop back, step up, throw through the hands of the intended receiver here on the sideline. That's Joe Weber out of the backfield on the 40-yard line. It went incomplete. Now we face fourth down and three following a timeout. 39 seconds to go at the 40. Throw the ball, almost intercepted on the far sideline. I think that's Tillman again. The intended receiver was Bethel Johnson. It's first down and 10. Here's a shotgun. Two wides on the right. Split in left, short side. And it's a quarterback draw. Van Cleave to the 40, to the 43. Wrapped up from the backside, and they go down right there. That is halftime. We've got double zero on the scoreboard on seconds. And at halftime, the Aggies up by a score of three to nothing. Cody Skates will kick off, and ULL will get first touch here in the second half. And again, 3 nothing is our score. Pagan has a field goal, and that's it in the first half. Here's the kickoff. And they're going to uh, see this one go into the end zone, and they'll take the knee near the end line. They'll bring it out to the 20-yard uh, line. Here is first down and 10 at the 20 for the Cajuns. Open up again with the Stein at the fullback. Coleman is the tailback. Van Cleve hands off. Uh, it uh, may have been fumble, was it? And uh, it was fumbled, and the Aggies got it again. That's the seventh turnover of the game. A fumble in the backfield. Van Cleve must have dropped the ball, and apparently Brian Gamble will end up with a fumble recovery, his second of the night. He also has an INT. 
Ball at the 17, first down and 10. High formation, and he gives it to uh, Farmer, and Farmer hits the middle, and they will wrestle him after out the line of scrimmage. Second down and 10. And it favors Hash to the right side. Single setback. Farmer, two wides on the left. Tie it in as the bottom of the formation. Once more, it goes to Farmer. He hits the middle and maybe the 15-yard line. He's going to get a couple there. Did he get the 15? That was a second down play. And 10. Now it's going to be third down, and uh, he got about a yard. They're going to give him the 16-yard line. High formation. Weber followed by Farmer. Slot right. Tie it in, they break the slot, the eye rather. And then they put Weber in motion. Now Weber sliding back, and they'll go with a slant in the backfield. Has the uh, snap, and he's going to be pressured from the backside. It's going to be caught inside to five by Bethel Johnson. And he's wrestled out at the one-yard line, and it was Charles Tillman who stopped him, or it would have been in for a quick six. It's first and goal for the Aggies, and the official spot will be just shy of the one, but inside the two. First and goal, your Aggies. Patrick Fleming's a tight end. Carriger's a tight end. But Joseph in motion, the extra fullback in the lineup, and the handoff to Weber. Weber will bust it in. Touchdown! Hit it off on the left side. And he got in on what probably will be counted as a one-yard run since it was across the two. Aggies make it a 9 to nothing lead at 13-04 to go in the third. Well, Weber's second carry gets him into the end zone. Much-needed touchdown for the Aggies. And now Pagram will attempt the extra point. Skates is going to hold. Chance Pierce will be the deep snapper. Taking his steps right now. Freshman now with his first opportunity at a uh, extra point. Snapped, spotted. Ball is up, and it's good. And the Aggies now make it a 10 0 lead. Sampy and Taylor are back deep for the Skates kickoff following the. Aggie touchdown drive after a turnover and a fumble recovery by Gamble. His second fumble recovery has an interception as well. We'll get the drive in a moment. Here is Skates approaching the ball. Here's his kickoff. Should go into the end zone. It does. They'll take it right on top of the X in uh, Texas. Bring it out to the 20. Ball will go back to the Cajuns. They have it first down and 10 at their... 20-yard line. They show shotgun. Van Cleve has a running back on both sides in the shotgun formation. Has the snap. He's dropping back. And it's batted down. Almost intercepted by the Aggies. Getting a hand on it. Everett Smith. And he almost batted that to a teammate. But it goes incomplete. They were trying to set up a screen left. Stein's the lead back. Coleman is the tailback. They run from an eye formation on this play. Waiting on the snap. They put a man in motion. Drop back to throw. They will to the sideline. Caught by Stamps. Fights for a first down. He'll be close, but he uh, may be a little bit shy of the 30 just across the 29-yard line. And doesn't appear that he picked up the first down. Clock will continue to roll. They come back to the line of scrimmage. They show a full house backfield on third down and inches. Let's see if Van Cleve gets it. They break that full house, putting Stein in motion. They're going to give it to Coleman. Coleman fighting for it. The Aggies are trying to keep him from getting there. I think they're going to give him the 30-yard line. He pushed his way to the 30 and then wrecking crew. Two running backs, one each side of Van Cleve. Normal formation. They have the snap. Drops back to the 20. He's looking sideline. Now he's forced out of the pocket and they're going to drop him at the 25. A loss of five on the play. Shotgun for Van Cleve and the Cajuns. Snapped, dropping back, standing at his 15, throws over the middle. It's bobbled and almost intercepted by AM out around the 40 yard line. Keel had a hand on him, it floated away from him. Holding for two turnovers. It's ULL. Penalties declined. Third down. Shotgun. There's a snap. Here's a throw, sideline, stretching out, and bringing it in will be Stamps, and that was a circus catch, and he will get a star on his helmet for that one. All the way out to the 42-yard line. Oh, he's made an impression tonight. Two wides on the left, one on the right. Out of the shotgun, dancing around, throwing the ball. It's caught across the 45, out to about the 47-yard line. And that's going to be caught by Stein on the backfield. And again, a shotgun, and they leave two running backs either side of Van Clee. Two wides left, split in right. Van Clee moving up toward the line to say something to his lineman. Now he drops back, standing at his 42, raises his leg, and they're going to stop it because there's going to be a delay of game. He ran out of 25, second clock. 
after the markoff on the delay. Clock at 9.26 and rolling. The Aggies lead 10-0 in the third. Snap it out of the shotgun. Under pressure. Throws a sidearm pass. Caught by Stamps. Out across the 45-yard line. Ball at their 46. They need shy of the Aggie 47. They're on their side of the 50. Single set back. Ags are coming. He's going to throw one under a lot of pressure. It's off the fingertips of the intended receiver near midfield. That will be Jorg to tie it in. As it goes in, complete. Everett Smith was there defensively. Bring up fourth down for the Cajuns. As he awaits the Grant Autry kick. His last kick went 48. His average in the first half was 41-8. Here's the punt. And he takes it at the 10. Got by the first half. He didn't. Tipped him up around the ankles. It was Bartell, and he fell forward, and he'll spot him at the 13. That kick went 43 yards. First down and 10. Ferris hands off on somewhat of a delay. He goes to Farmer in the backfield. He's got two men on him. Maybe a yard if he got that. A half yard, not quite the 14. Stan Smith, Jamal Smith, the Smith brothers. He'll bring him down in a minimal game. We'll call it second down. It still looks about 10. And one's in a slot tight end left on the short side. Play action. Here is Ferris throwing, and it's batted up in the air and then down to the turf, and a hand on that ball by Justin Venable. Out of a shotgun on third down and about 10 from the Aggie 13. They need to get to the 23. Hitting on the snap, drops back to his five, has time, now under pressure, throwing deep, coming to the sideline, looking for Bethel, and did he catch it? He did! And he went down at the 48-yard line. He caught that one against Ivan Taylor, and it went 35 yards. Slot to the right. Way out there on that right side is Van Zant. It's been snapped, and it's play action, and here is Ferris. He's throwing a home run ball, going for the end zone around the five. It's incomplete. And the fullback, Joseph, is slanted out here to the left on the corner. It goes to Goins. He goes past the 50 at the 40, and he's ankle tackle from the backside at the 37-yard liner. He might have broken that one. It was Ross Brubaker. And again, Taylor and Van Zant go to the right side in a slot. The slot man in here. Is there a flag? There's a flag as they come to the line of scrimmage. Third, the Aggies. This off, Hal. Here's the Full call. start. Texas A&M. Five yards. Still first down. We have still a lot of time. Well, six minutes to go in the third. Here goes Goins again on a little sprint here. He's tight roping down the sideline as he goes to the near side, but he stepped out at the 35. He went all the way down to the 20, but they mark him out. Not enough for a first down. He picks up from the 41 down to the Cajun 34 and a half on that run. Single setback is Farmer. Ball's been snapped, and it's going to be a uh, end around coming back on this side to uh, is that Bethel Johnson. Bethel Johnson goes out of bounds, picking up a first down at the 24. He set up wide right and came back to the left side. Thomas Van Zant wide right, handoff Goins, looking for a hole, caught around the ankles. He falls forward, and maybe a half a yard on that. Not, they've not done well in the last five years. Put a man in motion out of an eye. Here's Ferris standing, throwing, going toward the end zone, and he overthrew Porter at the goal line. That one went about halfway into the end zone, incomplete. Brings him to the line of scrimmage. He shows an eye. He's got Fleming on one side. He's got Weber on the other side. Got a slot to the right. He's got a split in on the left. It's third down. It's nine. Has his snap. Has time. He throws, and it's caught by Porter. I'm not sure if it's enough for a first down, but he had to stretch out to bring it down. Fell down as soon as he caught the ball. Looks like the spot will be near at about the 14. Go with two tights. And I, Ferris is going to sneak for it. He got it. Hash to the right side. Single setback, and that man will get it. It goes to Farmer, and he was caught as he hit the line. He got back to the 14. He's going to lose about a half yard on that one. And he got an eye. Second down and about 11. Ball at the 14-yard line. Cajun into the field. The snap. There's the throw going uh, up in the air and knocking that down. Will be Taylor. Deflects it away. It was intended for Carragher as they try to go down around the five. It goes incomplete. That'll bring up third down and 11. Stop the clock. 4.25 to go in the third. The Aggies ahead in the game by a score of 10 to nothing. Open the night here in this 0-2 campaign against ULL. Third down and 11 at the 14. Shotgun for Ferris. 
has time. Now they've thrown a screen, and that is red and dropped back at the 21. A screen to the left side caught by Farmer. Kirk was there as a blocker, but Brian Deemer was all over it. Hag's going to try a field goal. It's going to be a 37-yard effort to be spotted down at the 27. Here's Tom Turbyville on the field with a call. Again, an angle to the right for Todd Pegram this time. This will be his longest field goal of the night. Uh, it looks like it has enough distance, but it's going to be wide to the left, Dave. High formation and cleave the snap. And they pitch it back to Coleman going the other way, back to his number left, and the Aggies are all over that one. Coleman is smothered back at oh, about the 17-yard line by 17. Gamble and by Everett Smith. The loss on the play, uh, about four second down and 14 coming up. And a shotgun on second down and 14. Ball at their 17. Ball's been snapped, dropping back. Look like they're going to throw. They will as he throws. He is hit. Intercepted, and Byron Jones down the sideline. He's going to score! Big time, big time play by Byron Jones. Glenn Cleve dropped back. He was trying to loft in the first corner route. The Robert Agnes has been burning the Raging Cajun zone. Byron Jones stepped in. Looked like he had man-to-man -man coverage, but it, the Aggies actually had a had some bait. He dropped off at the coverage, picked the ball off, and returned it for 35 yards. Great play, Byron Jones. Aggies just made it 16 to nothing. The defense will put that six on the board, and Byron Jones just got his first career interception. Those three in the bowl game last year don't go against the career. Here's Pegram with the extra point, 237 to go here in the third. The Aggies up 16 zip over the Cajuns. Pierce will snap. Skates will hold. Here is the kick and the kick is good. Four interceptions and four fumble recoveries tonight by the wrecking crew. The Aggies have made it 17 to nothing. 237 remaining of the third period and Kyle will kick off when we come back. This is the Texas Aggies Sports Network. All right, the Aggies have made it 17 to nothing. Byron Jones picks one, goes 35 yards down the sideline. It's the fourth interception in the game tonight for the wrecking crew. Jones his first. Here's the kickoff by Skates. It's going to the end zone. Well, not quite. About a yard deep. Here comes the return out to the 10. Turns it on. It's Taylor out to the 20, maybe the 21-yard line. At the 20. And it will be first down and 10 for the Cajuns. Brandon Johnson made the stop for the kickoff team for Texas A&M. Here's first down and 10. The official spot right at the 21-yard line. And a shotgun. Van Cleve takes the snap. Sets up back around the 12. Throws over the middle. That was almost picked by Texas A&M at about the 35-yard line. Over on the far side is Randall Webb. So a few changes. Honey cuts here on the left side. Nick Lasada stays in. In a shotgun. Second down and 10. They'll have an inside handoff to Stein, the fullback, across the 20 to about the 23-yard line. There we go. Back to the line of scrimmage they come. Number five. Here is a ball batted up in the air, and somebody going to catch. Oh, we almost had another interception on a batted ball. Autry standing back at his eight, takes the snap, punts away. Bryant Singleton waiting on it, has it. Flag goes down. His return is to the 40, slung to the ground as he goes across the 45 to the 47-yard line. Along with Kirk, single setback will be Farmer. Split in on the left side is Bethel Johnson. And they'll hand off as they go to Farmer, and he tries the right side. There's some yards there as he gets it out to the 29-yard line. Single setback, Ferris under center. Play action, rolling back to his right. He's going to throw the ball. He's trying to get it to Porter. Porter caught it at the 40 and went out of bounds. Leaped up, what a nice route taking him back to the east sideline. It went 11 yards, Kevin. Possession guy, handoff, and they will go to Goins. Goins broke the initial uh, tackle and gets it across the 40, and he gets it out to about the 42. Oshler Fleming has checked in now at the running back position. The Aggies show shotgun. Fleming's to his left. Here's Ferris dropping back. He has time now. He's got some pressure. They close on him as he tries to get away, and he got back to the 40-yard line. Ferris brought down at the uh, 40, and the man that made the uh, stop that time would be Brubacher, and also Charlie Smith was close by. All right, that's the uh, third quarter. Time has run out. We're going to go to the fourth, and the Aggies lead the Cajuns by a score of 17 to nothing. All right, here we go. The Aggies have the ball on a third down and 10 at their 40. 
Ferris is going to throw, and he threw way out in front of the intended receiver out of the uh, backfield that time. Keith Joseph went incomplete, threw it out in front of him, and actually threw it in front of the uh, defensive man. Four seconds off the fourth quarter clock. And he has the snap. A little pressure coming up the middle. Got the kick away. It's going to be taken and spun away from the first man at the 25. Gets across the 30 and goes to the 33-yard line. Aggies lead 17 to nothing. 14-47 remaining in the game. Shotgun for Van Cleve. Big quarterback has the snap. Drops back across the 25. Throws. Deflected. Did we get another one? See what they're going to say. No ruling yet. And now they say Jackson the Pell got it. That's a tip drill right there. Dave Jackson of Pell's sitting back at the deep safety. These guys work on this drill every every week, every day in practice throughout, throughout the week. That's the fifth interception tonight. I think everyone wants to. I think I need to go down there, Dave, and improve my <laughs> Southwest Conference record of, inter of interceptions. That was his first. His career first. He had five in uh, high school. And it's going to be an end around. It goes to Taylor across the 50. Broke a tackle. Still trying to fight his way. Play now. And he gives it to his teammates. Van Zant goes left side. Here on the right side. Will be Thomas. Got split backs behind Ferris, who is under his center, Jeff Hampgartner. Jones was the fullback. Now he breaks out of the backfield. We're going to throw deep going down here to Thomas. He is behind his man, and it goes incomplete at about the seven-yard line. Stacy Jones will be the uh, fullback. Farmer's the tailback. Had two tight ends. The handoff will go to Farmer, and Farmer is fighting for a first down, and I think with a little second effort, he got it. Have motion. They put Thomas in motion. Now he swings back and comes back in this direction. And we just hand it off to uh, Weber, and Weber gets the uh, 40. We'll have a slot here on the right. The wide man's Van Zant. Slot man is Thomas. Thomas going in motion. Right to left. Stops. He's coming back this way. Handoff. Up, it's a play fake, and now here is Ferris throwing. He's trying to get it to Porter. Porter caught it! Across the 20, down to the 16. Oh, that's two great catches by Porter in the game tonight. He's Mr. Possession. Four receptions, 50 yards. Ags are at the line of scrimmage. Single setback is Farmer. Ferris under center, and he gives it to Farmer. They're trying left side. He's got the 10. Let's see if he can get it in. They're closing on him. He fights for it, and he fell out of bounds, hit out of bounds at about the three and a half. That's first and goal for the Aggies. Farmer got us inside the five with a sweep to the left side. First and goal for the Aggies. The ball just shy of the three, and the handoff will go to Farmer. Stood up as he hits the four, and he's still on his feet. Now they drag him back. They're going to give him the line of scrimmage, which is about the four-yard line. Second and goal will be coming up. We have 11 50 remaining in the game. The Aggies are up by a score of 17 to nothing. And we come back to the line of scrimmage facing a second down and goal at their four. Ash left. Goes to Goins. He's spreading out left side trying to get in. He does. He just hit that pylon. He got into the zone. Touchdown, Texas A&M. Another great run by Dwayne Goins again. I said it once tonight. I've said it twice. They're running off Jamie Hightower's heels. Found the outside corner with the speed that he has. It's hard to keep up with him. Touchdown for the Aggies. 11-17 in the fourth, and the Aggies have scratched again. Goins now, seven carries, 38 yards, a touchdown. He had one touchdown last season. He rushed the ball last year, six times, 48 yards. Here's Pegram with the point after. Chance Pierce is our snapper. Cody Skates. Will be the holder, and it's up, and he made it. And that will make it 24 to nothing. Texas A&M with 11-17 remaining in the game, up over the Cajuns, playing in the fourth quarter at Kyle Field. Louisiana Lafayette, all time against current members of the Big 12, 1-13. And, and we hope to see him go 1-14 here tonight. We're headed in that direction. Who did they beat, Dave? to go by. I think it beat Oklahoma State. Here's the kick. It'll bounce and be taken at about the uh, four. That looks like it may be Stamps trying to get the return. He's back to the uh, 15 and jukes a man. It is Stamps and he gets across the 20 to about the 23. So Stamps gets the return to the 23 for the Cajun kick return team. Out of high school. Van Clay with a single setback. See if the Aggies just going to try. Here's a diving effort. Did he intercept the ball? He did! It's Terrence Kale! I think everyone in the secondary has an interception right now. Oh. Terrence Kill jumps up under the little short hitch route. That's six interceptions for the Aggies. He'll have Goins behind him. 
So here is the heralded freshman Reggie McNeil out of Lufkin. Moves in under center. Waiting on the snap. And his first play will be a whistle and a flag on first and 10 at the 26-yard line. So number three quarterback. Lufkin won the 5A Division II uh, state championship with him running the quarterback position. He's back at the line. Penalty was against the Aggies. First and 15. He has the snap. Play action. Rolling back to the right. Throwing the ball. Makes the uh, reception inside the 15. That was thrown to Bethel Johnson. And they're going to rule him out officially where? At about the 12. So McNeil goes one for one to start his career. And a flag has gone down now. Out of bounds at about the Cajun eight-yard line. All right. That penalty is going to move the ball back. Now, we got it first and 10. But the penalty has moved the ball back to the 27 after picking up the first down on the unsportsmanlike. 27-yard line, hash mark right side. Has a single setback behind him. Has the snap. Has time. He will throw. And it's to Porter. Porter broke a tackle. Putting out of the 20. Going to go inside the 20, the 18-yard line. Throw it to Porter. Out in the flats, left side. Thrown a little bit low, but Porter brought it in, and he shook the first would-be tackler. Shy of a first down by a yard at the 18-yard line was the official spot. Eye formation behind McNeil. Stacy Jones, the fullback, and the handoff will go to Oshler Fleming. He's got the first down. He dives across the 15, shy of the 14. Single setback, Farmer behind Reggie McNeil. He's got two tight ends. One of them's Porter. The other's Carragher. Two flankers. And play action. Rolling back to his right. Being chased. He's going to run with it. He's going toward the sideline. He's at the 10. And he steps out at the 10. It'll be a five-yard pickup. It'll be second down and five coming up for the Aggies and Reggie McNeil. Second down and five. And Gardner out over the ball. Eye formation. McNeil under center. Puts Jones in motion. Came back to the right side, and they will hand off, and it goes to Farmer. Farmer across the 10, leaps over a man, and tackled at the 6, shy of a first down by a yard. We're going to send uh, Stacy Jones here off to the right side, just outside Caro. That's Massey. Oh, we had movement. movement. Ruber moved here on the right side. On third and one, it's going to turn in to third and six. So we're penalized again. Time in Big 12 history, A&M has had six interceptions in a game. This ties a record held by Iowa State against Northern in Iowa in 2000. Third down and now six after the penalty. Single setback, two tights, and a couple of flankers. Here's play action. McNeil drifting out to his left. He just outran the first man, 10. He's going to the sideline. He will get a first down at the four. <laughs> Here comes the offense to the line. a and up 24 to nothing. Eye formation. Two tights. Handoff will go to Stacy Jones. Jones goes straight ahead. 5'11", 233 out of Midland Lee. He's one of the seniors on the team. Put a man in motion. That's Joseph out of an eye. Handoff will go to Farmer. Looking for the coin. He got a touchdown. Oh, great job. Got it in from the three on second and goal. Is that Aggies. Farmer, Dave? Is that Farmer. Yeah, great job. Great run. The Aggies, Aggies offensive line, the, these guys are truly getting a push right now. It wasn't getting that early in the game. And uh, one of the keys to AM's uh, successes for this year is that they're going to have to have a running game. Makes it 30 to nothing before the point after. 8-10 remaining in the game. Farmer just scored. Farmer 18, carries 39 yards and a touchdown now. Skates waiting on the Pierce snap. There it is. It's spotted down. The extra points on the way, and it's good. And it is 31 to nothing with 8-10 remaining in the game. Reggie McNeil has come in here and electrified the crowd and just directed that drive. We'll check the drive when we come back. Aggies 31, ULL nothing. And we take a break. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Texas presenting this broadcast of Aggie football. This is Texas Aggie football. Aggies lead 31 to nothing, 8-10 remaining in the game. Skates is ready to kick off, and we'll go down on the uh, sideline and get that scoring drive from Tom Turbyville. Reggie McNeil came in to quarterback the team. Took the red shirt off of him. First night out was the kickoff. They'll watch that one uh, go out of the side of the end zone after it hit at the goal line and it took a left turn. They got uh, seven quarters plus of a shutout going against them. Shotgun for now a new quarterback who has just checked in and they'll hand off. 
And that time it'll be Elliott Temple, and they have brought in Eric Rakita. Rakita, 6'2", 247, a junior out of Paducah, Texas, and then went to Navarro Junior College. Brandon Fails, freshman out of Colleyville Heritage, just made that stop for Texas A&M. Here they go back to the uh, shotgun. Rakita had no playing time, obviously being a Juco transfer. He's got the ball out of the shotgun. He throws over the middle. That's going to be cut. That'll be a first down and a lot more as they get that one across the 35 to about the 37-yard line. Here we go to first down and 10. The Aggies up 31 to nothing. 7.03 remaining in the game. Rakita out of a shotgun, rolling to his right, throws the ball, and it is caught as they go out of bounds across the 40 to about the 41 yard line. R.C. Slocum is unbeaten on conference here at Kyle Field now. This will be 29 in a row. Second down play. Shotgun again. Rakita. Quick throw. He threw over the head of the intended receiver, Bartell. And that's out near midfield. It goes incomplete. Third down and still about six. Rakita. Two running backs either side. Show shotgun. Has the snap. Steps up in the pocket. Now he's going to run. And he'll get a first down. He crosses the Aggie. 45. Now he's inside the 45 to the 43.